Hey guys and welcome to One Kitchen, I'm Julia. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make some very delicious um, taco meat sauce, kind of like that. Um, pinwheels with some cheddar cheese in as well. They are delicious and they are made with homemade dough. You can easily take them with you in your lunch box or heat them in the oven for the dinner, freeze them down, whatever you want to. And they are just so easy to make. And the dough I'm going to make here is just so, so soft and delicious. So let's get started. First up, we have to get started with the dough. And for my dough, I'm going to use some flour. And in here I have all-purpose flour and some spelt flour. I just mix that around. But you can easily just use all purpose flour instead of the spelt flour. Just remember to add in 250 milliliters more of the all purpose flour then. And then I'm also going to use some of the butter, some sparkling water, fresh yeast, salt, sugar and three eggs. First up I'm just going to crumble my fresh yeast into a ball. So I'm just going to do that like so. And then on top with my sparkling water. And my sparkling water here is room temperature, not cold. Um, so if you always have your sparkling water in the fridge, uh, just take it out about an hour before you are going to use it. But this year I'm just going to let it sit for about two minutes and then I'm going to stir it around until the yeast is dissolved. So now that mix is ready, so I'm just going to add in my eggs now. Salt, sugar, and my melted butter. And now I'm just going to stir this here around. Just like that. And now I'm just going to turn my machine on back again and then add in my flour gradually. I'm going to use all of my flour here, of course, but I'm just going to add it in gradually just to make sure it gets well mixed. When my flour is all in there and it's all well mixed and I have a nice and sticky dough, I'm going to cover it up and let it rise for about one hour to one and a half hours. It really depends on how cold your room is or you are baking. And my room here, room here is pretty cold, so I might use one and a half hours, but if you are Having a warm room, uh, I may only need to rise for about an hour. So while my dough is resting, I am ready to make my meat sauce. And for my meat sauce, I'm going to use some minced beef. A little onion and then here I have some taco spices it really depends on what taco spice you are using um, how spicy it is how strong in flavor it is mine here is not as strong in flavor so I'm using two tablespoons but it really depends on your taco spice that you are using then I'm also going to use some pepper some salt some store-bought tomato sauce and this here there is garlic and basil in. and then I'm also going to use some extra virgin olive oil and beside from my meat sauce here, I'm also going to use lots and lots of shredded cheddar cheese. So into my pan here, I'm just going to add in my extra virgin olive oil. And now I'm just going to fry my meat and onions in there with some salt and some pepper. And when my meat is done, I am going to add in my store-bought tomato sauce and my taco spices. And then I'm just going to see if it needs any more salt and pepper. And when that is in and it's well mixed and nice and hot, I'm going to remove it from the pan because then my meat sauce is done. And then I'm just going to let it cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes. My oven is already at 108 degrees C, convection on. If you don't have convection, then have it at 200 degrees C. As you can see here, 
I have just rolled out my dough into a big long square and now I'm just going to add on my meat sauce. So I'm just going to spread that out and now I'm just going to add my shredded cheddar cheese on the top. And now it's time to roll this here and I'm just using a brush to make sure that I get the excess flour off that is under this dough here. And these here, they are going to be huge, but they're also going to be so, so delicious. What I'm doing now is just to prepare two baking sheets with some parchment paper on. And then I'm going to cut this here out in about two centimeter thick pieces. And then I'm just going to place that on top of my baking sheets. And then I'm going to bake this here in the oven for about 15 minutes or until they are nice and golden brown. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the recipe here for my big pinwheels. This here is just one of the smaller ones, the edges. They got exactly 15 minutes in my oven and they, the bread itself, it is just so silky soft and delicious. And you can easily have it with you in your lunch box without getting dry. It is just so, so good. Give it a go. All the ingredients are down below in my description. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Bye! Mmm, so good.